again, back to the mantra, you know, use it or lose it. Use it or get rid of it. Uh, create as many as you want. Use as many as you're going to use. Um, use as many. I'm going to go back to that. One of the things about coding, and, and you'll come back and say, oh, I'm all excited now. Chuck's got me all excited. And, well, I'm going to go in and do a bunch of coding. Uh, bite off as much as you can chew. Uh, so if, if you're wanting to get into coding, one of the strategies in this is, and I'm going to get out of this to the name record, do it in chunks. You say, well, right now, the first thing I want to do is focus on source code, occupation, and organization, and birthday and gender. Okay, so you're going to focus on those five things. Get yourself, get your staff into the habit of working on those particular fields. Then next semester, you say, well, now I'm going to work on some of these de demographic codes. Now I'm going to work on some particular, I don't know, future needs codes. So again, do it in stages because if you really try to do, you know, kind of like the casual jogger who decides they're going to run a marathon tomorrow, you got to kind of train, you got to kind of build up, you know, to the to the total thing. So feel free to do it in stages. <clears throat> and again, character space. Um, a lot of code fields are a fairly decent length. Uh, for instance, interest is ten. Subject to, or the occupation is six. Don't get too concise. You, there's no penalty. You don't save any space by using a short code than you do by doing a, a longer code that might be a little bit more uh, clear for a person looking at it. Um, related to that, especially with interest codes, uh, the idea of a major minor. So if you wanted to start with the first four or five digits of the code as a major category, EDU for education, DANC for dance, BUS for business, <clears throat> then you add an, an appendage to it, a, a subcode for the category. So education, ADM, K-12, ELE for elementary, CSL is education counseling. That allows you, when you're running a report, to use the course number or the code begins with. You can say, if the code begins with EDUC, give it to me. Well, that will give you everybody who has any inkling of education and or interest in. And if you said, well, now I'm only interested in the K through 12 folks, you could put EDUC K12, and that would drill down and only give you those folks who are in the uh, K 12 area of the education area, uh, the education subset. Uh, coding tip, we talked about the view area, show names, show courses as a quick way to see what's associated. Um, <clears throat> and the reminder about relabeling occupation and organization. And again, um, coding and back to the idea about weeding your garden. Um, maybe uh, life insurance. I always say you should reevaluate your life insurance based on changes in your family. Well, if your organization has changed its focus from maybe more of a community ed to more of a business and professional, you probably want to go in and change those cooking or bonsai plants, uh, deactivate them, maybe you might want them later, but then activate codes that have to do with, you know, marketing, you know, supervision and leadership, uh, you know, lean management, uh, Cisco, IT tech, you know, add the codes, update the codes, match up with the mission of what your organization is doing. And again, it's just, a, a, you know, if your codes have to do with Smith Corona typewriter and uh, uh, Remington typewriters <clears throat> for the type of organization that you're in, that probably needs to be updated. Incidentally, those are all typewriters that are manual ones. They are no longer, uh, there are no computers called Remington or uh, 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 Get the, uh, and I've got I've got codes on all of my all of my classes. But if you have a class that already has students in it, and you're saying, "Oh crap, I forgot to put an interest code," or again, <clears throat> you're halfway through the semester and you say, "Oh, what? Uh, I'd never done this, but I want to add them after the fact." You can do that. Now the other trick is here. I have one already in there. I'm going to go ahead and delete the code, save it. 
Okay, so if I do, I want to add a code of communications to this and hit the save button, it will say, you have changed or you have added a subject code. Do you want to apply this code to all existing registrants? So absolutely. And in fact, for those of you who say, well, I would like to add two subject codes to the students in this class. Maybe it's a multidisciplinary course and you had to choose either law or computers. It was a, uh, a, a computer, uh, it was a, a IT uh, licensing rules with legal issues, blah, blah. You could apply then a second subject code by just editing the primary putting in the secondary, and then say yes, and it will automatically stamp that code in all of the existing students. So uh, the answer to that was, you betcha, absolutely. So the idea of what the course code transmogrification is, is that um, if you wanted to change the course code model, <clears throat> and um, you say, I want to take the, I want to move the course code from, uh, there's three different ways to before code, after code. Okay. Da, 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 da. I got to think about this because uh, there are different ways to do it. Um, so if I want to take all of the, 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 the 09 classes that are 09, S for spring, and I want to call them 09 um, P. Uh, so this is an example of all of the classes that are 09 S. I want to change to 09 P. Now, uh, what I can do now is do a test to see are there any classes that would end up with a problem. Here's a previous course number. Here's what the new course number is going to be. So I can hit the go number. And it changed that one class that was in my particular list. And I've got an error, but it took me right out of that. So again, that, the idea of the transmogrification, and I'm going to get back to it, is like we recommend that you use the year, the term, and the department code. If you wanted to say, I want to change all of the codes that were ACE, to CPT. Um, you could do that. You could do that with the transmogrification tool. Now again, uh, because those in that involves some mass changes to your database, you would always want to um, make a backup before you get into this. And again, I would recommend that this is probably something you'd want to kind of talk about with your tech to make sure that what you're aiming to do uh, would allow you to do this. Now, a uh, tip on this. You say, well, I'd like to do some experimentation on real data. Make a backup of your live data, move it over to another folder on your computer, and uh, test it. Let me, let me get out of here to where. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Go to your desktop, create yourself a new folder for a, a play copy of your live data. Go into the play copy and experiment with that transmogrified tool uh, before you start running into it live. But again, it is a great tool. And again, allowing you to basically change around the format, um, change around the order of the different areas within your course codes. 